Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my experience camping Jones Lake. If you've never heard of Jones Lake before, it is a lake reservoir in Chilliwack, BC. It's only about a two hour drive from the city, so it is perfect for weekend camping. The lake is managed by BC Hydro and it serves as a source of hydroelectric power as well as a recreation site. The campsites are free, non-reservable and on a first come first serve basis. The campsites that are officially maintained by BC Hydro are the ones on the north, south and west side of the lake and the unofficial campgrounds are on the east side of the lake, which is where I stayed. This spot is absolutely amazing because you get the beautiful view of the mountains with the serenity of the calm lake plus some rolling green hills that are surrounding you. On the morning of, we woke up bright and early, packed the truck, and headed over to Jones Lake. Once you get to the bottom of Jones Lake, the road conditions are pretty rough. The road up to Jones Lake is 9 kilometers uphill and it is an active logging road with steep rough sections that are designed for all-wheel drives and high clearance. Our first day there was pouring rain, but that didn't stop us from setting up camp and starting our campfire. Welcome back to my channel and today is a very exciting video because I'm going to take you guys along on a four day camping trip alongside So I'm here with my friends, friends. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm here with my four friends from high school Okay, basically we were inseparable and then after we graduated everyone kind of did their own thing and we finally got together <laughs> for the very first time ever camping and these people have never been camping before <laughs> so, Okay, so like no. so I have No, no I shut have. up. I've been camping I but there was I showers and have toilets. Been camping. I have I'm more of a hotel and room service service spot vibes <laughs> person. I can do both Hotel, okay, hotels and room service fine dining. That's what we like but Ira and Vanessa are more like radical, so yeah. Radical. <laughs> we found this really cool spot at Jones Lake and on pictures on Instagram and online, Amazing. it looked way nicer because it's sunny, but it's raining really bad right now. It's 7.30 right now. We arrived around one o'clock. And so we've been here for around six hours. So what has your guys' experience been There's so There's no service here and I can't no even send service. my Snapchat. Oh my streets are dying. <laughs> So I'm having a hard time. What else? Literally half the time we were driving though. We were just like looking for a good spot. Yeah. yeah. And then like So the, the usually there's like a beach that you can go on and you can drive your like truck or four-wheeler by like the beach and then set up camp there. But because it's been raining so much in Vancouver, the camps have been flooded. So we're basically on this like random little sand patch mm -hmm. and it's been raining non-stop. And this is the only time it hasn't been raining, so we're filming this. Um, I also wanted to say that if you guys ever come camping, um, just, you know, check the weather beforehand. <laughs> Pretty good idea. We did, but we still decided <laughs> yeah. to go. Like, yeah, because yeah, if we didn't go this weekend, we'd never ever go. What's special about Jones Lake is that it is free camping. They have campsites that are set up by BC Hydro and maintained by BC Hydro, but we decided to go on the east side, which is the side that is an unofficial campsite and you can just set up camp wherever you want and it's free and you don't have to reserve it in advance. So yeah, if you guys want to know what it's like to go free camping at Jones Lake, then continue watching this Tune video. In. And give this video a like, thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs> Wait, and like and thumbs up below. is the same thing. Like and thumbs up is and the same thing. And comment down below. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Although it was pouring rain, we had dinner, we chilled out by the campfire and we enjoyed the whole east side of the lake to ourselves. I don't know if you can hear this right no, now. No balls, so let's all just go out. Should we? Yeah, no balls. Like literally like it is pouring rain. Because of all the rain, we called it early that night and we went to bed so that we could wake up bright and early for the next morning. Day two, we woke up the next morning and the rain stopped completely. We watched the sun rise over the horizon as the clouds began to clear up. Hey everyone, we're just making some hash browns right now. Um, Red got some pancake mix. Um, we're gonna make some chocolate chip pancakes. We even brought whipped cream and everything. All right, what are you making? Why don't you show the camera what you're making? I'm making some eggs. We're running out of butane. It's only the second day, but 
I think we eat a lot, that's why. <laughs> and Vanessa, what are you doing? Getting the fire started because it's freaking freezing. <laughs> Honestly, one of the highlights of this trip was the food. All of us love to cook, so we made a delicious breakfast as we watched the clouds roll away from the mountains. Oh my gosh, Posting up pictures, trying to look like you were. Now we're gonna try cooking. Bacon. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking the moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't ask me, cause baby, I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. As time went on, more campers decided to join us, and the weather was getting much nicer than the previous day. Later that afternoon, the sun came out, and we decided to blow up the floaties and hop into the glacier-fed lake. This lake was freezing, but the sun made up for it, and we were still having an amazing time. And live my life off screen, taking time out. After swimming, we worked up an appetite. We decided to make burgers for dinner, and again, we love to cook, so when it comes to food, we went all out. Generations, please, and make a, and take a break, or a little vacation, and chase and blues away. Hey, hey. You always posting a pictures. My friends got the dinner going while I was in charge of setting up the campfire. Soak in the moments you live in, yeah. You got the nerve to be on me. It was still so wet and windy that our fire kept blowing out, so we had a little fun with some off spray. Probably not the smartest idea, but we were desperate. Dal also brought some color changing fire that I've never heard of before, but we played around with it and it made the fire turn blue. After dinner, we just chilled by the campfire as the clouds started to roll in for dusk. It was so beautiful to see the sun shining through the mountains. At that point, the view was surreal. That night was very peaceful and relaxing, and the lake was as calm as it could be. The next morning, we woke up bright and early to a burning hot tent. Outside our tent door was a view of the beautiful mountains, clear of all clouds at last. Our last morning at Jones Lake, we made breakfast and we started packing up our things, getting ready to go home. And that is the video guys, I really enjoyed camping at Jones Lake despite the weather. I definitely recommend visiting this place if you like a change of scenery and you want to see amazing lakefront views, this place is for you. One thing I do ask from you guys is that if you do end up visiting Jones Lake, please, please, please keep it as pristine as possible. Please don't leave any garbage behind and try to leave the area better than how you found it so that it is more enjoyable for others 
and more importantly, so that we respect the wildlife. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment down below where you'd like me to visit next. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It is at ira.jimenez and that is where I post all the behind the scenes stuff on my stories, all the highlights of my trips. If you follow me on there, you'll be able to see my adventures real time. And if you like the content that I'm creating, please subscribe, hit the like button because it will truly help me out. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.